the uh, PVC that results has a much finer particle size, um, mainly because it's designed to give a stable dispersion when you mix it with a liquid plasticizer, this stable dis dispersion re being referred to as a, a paste or a plastisol. There are some speciality emulsion resins are made to go into extrusion applications, uh, but by far the majority are aimed at the plastisol applications. So <coughs> just in case you hadn't seen a typical uh, electron micrograph before of PVC, this uh, top one here, this is uh, the emulsion uh, PVC latex. Uh, you can see simpler, this is one of the simplest forms of emulsion PVC. Um, unimodal dispersion, all these particles, they're about 0.2 microns. Uh, you can see that they're all about the same size. Uh, and if you compare that with a suspension PVC, here you've got a scale bar there of 20 microns, so you can see by far about 140, 150 micron particle size. Significantly different. Uh, so there really you have the two extremes of, of PVC that are available on the market. So uh, that takes care of resins, um, but you can also uh, access PVC via powder blends or a PVC compound. Both of these are mixtures of PVC resins with uh, all the additives that you would need to make a given final product. And so you can not only buy PVC resin, but you can buy PVC compounds that have got all the additives you need there to turn them into a product that you want to make. And there is an enormous PVC compound market, and 